Hi and welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original movie, Mother. Not to be confused with this mother. Why aren't there any more children, mother? Or this mother. Never enough. No! Or my mother. Oh. <laughs> mother. Her name is Akiko and she is a fun, loving, single mother to a young schoolboy. He needs her, she needs men. Specifically, she needs sex and attention from men and almost any other man come and go. This film is directed by Tatsushi Omori and is also written by him. First tip of the day, do not read the full IMDb list. It gives away a massive plot spoiler, so that's just a heads up. If you're going to check this out and you norm you'll go to places normally IMDb, don't use IMDb for the full synopsis because it's a massive, massive spoiler. Okay, so let's get into this review. It's an interesting one to talk about. So it's about two hours and seven minutes long. It feels very long. This is a film that I think is phenomenally put together, phenomenally acted. I also hated watching and I will never watch it again. That's because it emotionally gripped me to the point where I really hated what was going on screen. Not because of what was going on screen was bad, it's because I was so emotionally in turmoil with what was happening that I didn't want to watch it anymore. My son, uh, my eldest son, uh, teen son, 18 year olds I think, <laughs> yes he's 18, how old is my son, 18, um, he watched two, wait, an hour and 50 minutes of this. So he literally got to the end and said, no, I cannot handle this anymore. I don't want to put myself through this anymore. That is the type of film you are getting in on here. So it's a very mise-en-scene film. And what I mean by that, it shows everything. It draws out the scenes. When you're going through emotion, it will take a long time and it will stay on shot. Often there'll be a camera technique used where somebody will walk into frame and uh, they will say something, they will deliver their lines and then they'll walk out and the camera will still stay on that same place and then wait for the character to come another character to come play come back and so it's very uniquely filmed it's very uniquely shot even the score will have you going whoa wait a minute what is going on here because there's literally large chunks of the movie where there is no score whatsoever and the family will be in these massive fights massive turmoil and it just feels so gritty and so raw because there's no soundtrack there's no score it's just you're in the moment you are thrust in there it almost feels documentary type like a slice of life like you're literally there with them experiencing what they are experiencing and then when there is score it feels like whoa I didn't even realize I wasn't listening to score it's that sort of filming technique the story itself is where it is really hard to watch because the mother, uh, which this film is predominantly about, the, uh, her and her son, you hate her from the get-go and you don't stop hating her throughout the film. There are moments where you think, oh, I can kind of see what's going on with her. I might feel a little bit uh, nicer towards her. I might feel less of hate towards this woman because she has gone through a lot herself. But then she goes and does something else just to drive that nail in to, you know, in, into you hating her even more. The son gets a raw deal, man. The whole way through, I'm, I'm pleading with him to make the right decisions to eventually, as he grows up, to make the right decisions. Go and live with his dad. Go and live somewhere else. Just leave this very rotten situation. So his mother is a gambler. And she continually spends all their money. Uh, you know, it comes down to them whether they're going to eat food or have a roof over their head or gamble. <laughs> and so she has this little kid. She's always forcing him to go and get money from family members, uh, from anybody. She uses her kids as saying, please borrow money. I need it for this. I need it for that. But it's always for gambling. And so we have this continuous, continuously straining friendships and family members that eventually get to the point where they're like nah we can't deal with you anymore and it's just horrifically sad continuously because there are moments where you think there's a light at the end of the tunnel and the film goes bam and smacks you in the in the stomach again you feel like you've been whacked in the face because you are on the edge of your seat just hoping beyond all hope that uh there is going to be a shift in their decision making and that she'll finally see the light and realize what she's been doing and how much of a terrible person she is and a terrible mother she is. 
Um, and so you sit through two over two hours of this. My only gripe is that it is too long. There comes a point where your audience is going to feel like, as a viewer, you're going to feel like, yeah, I can't handle any more of this. I get what you're trying to show. I get what you're trying to tell us. But if you shaved off half an hour, I might have not started resenting the film for continuously putting us in this zone. <laughs> I don't want to be in the zone. There needs to be some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. I need to understand what it is you're trying to tell. What it, What is the moral of the story? It's harrowing. Um, I thought that the performances were excellent between the mother and the son, who I thought was particularly excellent. Later on, there is a young girl that I thought was great. There is so much understated in these actors. Um, when they're acting, it's not like an outpouring of emotion or a screaming or shouting. It's not that sort of acting. It's the, the understatement of their facial expressions, the slight, slight movements of their face, the slight... Uh, kind of looking one way or the emotion that you just see that you know is under the surface every actor not just the main protagonist bring that to the screen so what you're feeling feels so real so visceral visceral that you can't help but be engaged with the story and really really hope that something else is going to change oh my goodness and when you reach that climactic ending you might be screaming at the at the, at the film at the writers at the director going god damn it why have you done this to me i can't believe you've put me through this it's that sort of film it's going to make you feel just all twisted up inside um and which is why i said i don't want to watch it again but it's worth watching that once for the performances for the harrowing story that you're going to go through and for the uniqueness of the film and the story the way it's told my only gripe is that i feel like it is too long it does stay it's it's it does outstay its welcome for a bit that is my only gripe other than that i thought it was excellent so let me know in the comments below are you going to give this a go have you watched it what did you think thanks so much for watching this review i'm going to give this a b plus i would have given it an a apart from that length Chat to me in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the, the usage of less uh, is more, you know, very less on the score, the amount of acting um, portrayed in their faces, the, the protagonists, um, the length and what you thought about the ending. Because I guarantee you, you're going to feel like you've been hit in the stomach at the ending. Thanks so much for watching this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.